Hello there, and welcome to episode 49 of this series where I play Europe region by region on GeoGuessr in a tennis match format, meaning that for each perfect 5,000 point round I get in a game, I get a tennis point, and when I fail to do a perfect round, the game gets a point. And uh, to make things a little harder, there is a maximum time limit on the entire game of 40 minutes, although for each perfect round I do, I will knock three minutes off the clock. And no round is to last more than eight minutes. For each of these time limits I go past, I will forfeit the current round point to the game. So, the standing right now is I won the first set of this particular match, uh, and the uh, standing is 1-1 one, one, and 40-30 in the third game of the second set. I've been hitting some snags lately with some rather difficult maps and, uh, well, also some personal mishaps like clicking in spots I shouldn't be clicking before clicking guess. So, so yeah. But anyways, so today we have made it to yet another Bulgarian province, and this time to this province of Stara Zagora, which you can see is smack in the middle of Bulgaria. And it's a fairly large province as well, but before a uh, Bulgarian one. It's 5,151 square kilometers and has just shy of 300 people, 300,000 people living in it. And of course, the, the province is named after the largest city where about half of the people in the province live, 158,000 or so of them. And uh, well, what can we say about this? Of course, well, as usual in Bulgaria, I'm flying blind. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of mountains or anything here, so this could be quite flat. I see there's a mountain range up here, and looks like there might be some forested areas, maybe down south. And then we have this area here that is rather uninhabited. Uh, yeah, that also looks, that's probably quite wooded. So, hmm, well, if there are woodlands, we could really be in trouble. That has posed a lot of trouble before, so... But, as always, we won't know until we go, so um, <laughs> let's see what Bulgaria has in store for us now. I think I've got a few people have played this map, and that is, that is nice, although even the locals are struggling with this one, but I guess they're playing with the, the free version of this thing, so that severely limits the time you got to you on, on hand to finish. So, let's see, that looks like a post office. Or, yes, that's a post office of where? Well, let's see. You can tell, uh, it probably says up there, but that's impossible to make out and get too much of an angle there. Maybe it says on that wall. No, probably not. Okay, so we are in a town and... Let's see. Oh! Cool. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. So that's a playground, isn't it? And it's not every playground where you get an actual... I guess that's a MIG of some sort, maybe? Those of you who are more into aviation and stuff might be able to let me know. Huh. Well... Okay, I was sort of thinking that we would probably look go into something more urban, but this looks, well, quite suburban. And that could mean a lot of clicking. So, alright, I've got some water towers and a factory of some sort over there. And then we have this sign here that says... Let's see how to brush off my Cyrillic alphabet again. Upravlenia, whatever that might mean. Naznashenia. Minimarica istok. Rudnik. Trojanovo Sever. 
The only thing I think in there that might be the name of something is the Troya Novo Sever. Sever, I think, means north. But there's no telling whether that is a name of a town yet. But we can have a quick look. Oh, it's Troya Novo. Look here. So. Hmm. So let's see, can we can we find that let's see, so I have a look in north and so we have sort of a square. Mm, I like the look of this, but I don't know if the game looks like no, the game does not look like the look of that. The roads are curving all the wrong ways. So I'm having some doubts as to whether this is actually where we are. I guess... No, we're not here either. And... Hmm... Well, it's not a given that we are in Troya Novo. Say if I see any streets that fit what I'm seeing. Hmm. But let's see, that sign I saw indicates that I'm on the main road through town. So I just need to get my bearings a little further. I've already used half the time of this route. That is bad news. Oh, so this is the main road out of town, is it? Oof. Yeah, it actually seems to be. The question is whether I should pursue this or not. There's a sign on the side, a sign on the side over there, but can't reach that. And this is might be a crossroads over there. Let's see. I know I use the term crossroads wrong all the time because. It means where roads are crossing each other, and uh, most of the time we come up on junctions and intersections, not crossroads. But it's so f so similar to the term we use in Norwegian, which is vekris, i.e. road crossing. Now this is kind of a weird road, and I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. I wonder, might we be here? That's just a thought I had. No, we're not. Okay, um, this is well, this is starting to get a little embarrassing because so I I have now married to the idea that I am in the right town and uh, uh, and I think these are names of certain things within the town so not like not like the name of places and the road is going northeastwards and that does not suggest that we are in Trojanovo right I'll just have to take my chances here but uh, Starting to look all, like I'll be forfeiting on the first round, and if I do, I'm not allowed to quit until I have figured out where I am. Or at least, seemingly so. I'm not too honest with myself to cheat by saying that, nah, I'm not going to do this. So, because after all, the time I spent here will be hurt by further rounds, and that is sort of the idea. 
So yeah, I am coming up on a forfeit here. That is quite clear. And uh, this is a puzzler. And I don't think, well, let's see if there's anything at the end of this particular straight. But yeah, this is not looking good. And I think I will have to go the opposite way in town to figure out where on earth I am. Wow, that's just endless. And there's a settlement coming up. And we've run out of time in this very moment, so that is a point forfeited. Oh my word, and I am still no closer to figuring out where this is. And I really, really, really need a proper sign. And I guess I'm pretty stupid for not having done that other road that went southwards in the town. Yeah, there is a settlement of sorts coming up. Let's see if that has any name that rings any bells from the little area I've been exploring so far on the map. Let's see. There's a sign coming up over there. And if that says Lyubinovo or whatever it is, let's see, what does it say? It says... Novoselets. Right, that is starting to suggest that I've been barking up the wrong tree. Ugh, that's nasty. So, Novoselets. Okay, is there a crossroads here? There is. On the 57, we're quite far away from Stara Zagora and Topolovgrad. Let's see, so where's Topolovgrad? Topolovgrad is over here. So let's see, the 57 is Novoselets. Oh, right, we were quite. We were here in Kovachevo. We were. Oh, wow. How far away is that from where I was looking? Uh, well, not that far, but far enough. So this is where we were. We were on this corner over here. Wow, there's some misalignment here. The houses are in the middle of the road. But we are in the middle of this intersection, or crossroads rather. Let's put us there. Right, that cost me. And it cost me a lot. So that means that the standing is now deuce of 40 all. And the game has a very real chance of reeling me in here. <clears throat> so I spent 10 minutes on that. Are we coming into a town or are we leaving a town? The answer to that is yes. Those are high rises. And there's another community over here. Let's see, there's something great now. That was just a container of sorts. Let's see if there's any information on these billboards I can go use. I sort of have a feeling that we must be somewhere in the nearby area of Stara Zagora. This is called Kram. Kram. Kram, Kram, Kram. And that looks like a fairly large settlement. But whether that is... Could actually, of course, be a suburb of Star of Zagora, but it doesn't seem like it. Let's, uh, let's keep on moving. I know I could have gone the other way, but I'm a sucker for punishment, so... <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Now, is that... No, it's that... Okay, so that's a... Bicycle path on the other side of the road. Well, there's a lot of houses here. 
Okay, I'm just going to check out that sign, and if that doesn't give me anything... Oh, danger zone. Uh, Czerny is something... Czerny Metali? And then there's something on this... Oh, that was the back of the van. I thought it was a sign. Okay, what does it say over here? It says... Haji Dimitrovo. And... Are there any other signs here? Let's see... So we got a hotel and restaurant. What did the sign here? And Nina Kran Shainovo. No, I need to go and check out in this direction. So I didn't see Kran right away on the map. So it can't be a very large settlement, but definitely coming into some sort of town here. Oh, wait a minute, we're going south. Yeah, north-south. And... I have a f an ugly feeling that I'll be struggling with the time limit on this, this one as well. But let's say that we are... Heading. Yeah, I once again I got myself spun around. Sometimes my internal compass does a 90 degree turn and I just can't seem to write it so but it doesn't look like we are at least not in the immediate outskirts of Stara Zagora and, but there were, there's something with high rises down the road here and it can't be that far can it Come on. That's no help. Where are we? Kazanlak. Okay, let's. Here's Kazanlak. And then Kran's gotta be up here, right? So we are somewhere on this stretch of road. I reckon, because we're straight north-south, and the Slavena must be that thing over there. And we are coming up on this one, and that thing is what uh, is the green stuff in the bushes there. Uh -huh. Let's see. So let's use that bit of road as a guide. And so let's count one, two, three, four to there. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so that's fourteen. Let's make so that's seven, three and a half. Four. So we should be about there. Nice. That's advantage me in the deuce. So, right. And how are we faring for time? So now I have to knock three minutes off the clock. So I am on 37 minutes. Okay. And yet another highway. And, ooh, this is not looking promising, promising, but there might be an intersection or, some, or a junction over there. Let's see, can I go it on the other side? I can. Cool. Nope. <coughs> Just a generic ad. What's this, then? Another generic ad. Oh, I thought I saw a road bridge or something, but... Nope. 
Oh, okay, this does not look like it will be pretty. Oh, all right, there was a road. So, is there a junction? That's the next question. And what road is this? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. So I'm guessing we're on the A1 somewhere. No, well, that would make sense if it was. And that could well mean that we will be chasing this for a while. Which is troublesome when you are pressed on time already. Okay, here says something. The Saslika River. Okay, the Saslika. So let's see, here's the. Uh, where's the. Here we go. The province border. So let's go on the assumption that we are running along the. Well, this is the. E80 slash A1. Koliama. Hmm. roads here I think this is a Zlika river okay so we are <clears throat> so that road bridge over there is this one and the one we came under is not showing but we should be I think we're somewhere here let's just put it down there for now so yes yeah, so the road is well, actually, we must be. I must be somewhere around here where this bend starts. Yeah. So, like hereabouts, I think. Because you can see we are only just like what, twenty twenty-five meters away from where this bend starts. And that should be around here, I think. But I think I'll be missing with a lot, but I am not going to count between those two rivers. That is not on. Uh, that is just not on, so I'm going to take my chances with that. No. That is deuce again. Alright. Well, still 37 minutes on the clock. That's the only positive thing to take away from this. Oh my word. Um, right, we've got 60 minutes left. That means that I will be in trouble for time if I complete this one on 8 minutes. Need to complete it in 5. Oh, wait a minute, 37 minutes. No, actually, I got. Yeah, well. We will see. <clears throat> Nikolai Nikolaevo. Okay. And that also looks to be a fairly sizable place. Let's see Nikolaevo. Nikolaevo. Oh, it doesn't seem to be sizable enough to be visible at this level of zoom in. Nikolaevo, no. Zoom in slightly more. Hmm. Here's Nikolaevo. And I think... So heading southeast, I think we're on this road. Or possibly this one. That one looks more likely, except for that squiggly thing down here. And then we are... <clears throat> well, that works with the highway down here. And this bendy thing. Well, I'm not 
not a hundred percent certain. But it sort of works. Now, is there a, um, let's see, is there a road up to the side here? Uh, is it this goat's trail here? Yeah, that might actually be it. So, how close are we? So, okay, so we've gone, gone around. How we gone around? Is this the bend we're on? Let's see. So here we go, in more or less straight south. Yeah, that works. And then the, the road bends slightly, yes, like so. And then it's going to go right. <clears throat> so we have just entered this particular bend, so we should be around there. Oof, close enough. And that gives me the advantage again. <laughs> right, let's see if I can clinch this point in the final round then. And then with my, my, with my down to 34 minutes, so I got... Well, I got 12 minutes to sort... Well, actually I got 8 minutes to sort this one out then. The full 8 minutes. Well, that was weird. This, like, this, this looked like a big square from that angle, and then we come into here and it's a smallish crossroads. And that's a school of some sort, that's obvious, but unfortunately the sign is not legible, but at least we're in a town. And uh, Pravlenia something that I think that just means foodstuffs or something, yeah. Spasenia Opan. There was a town called yeah, that's open. Yeah, I knew I saw that one. Right. So we're for an open, and we are on a road going northeast. And uh, so we're at the school. So could we? Let's see what. So those buildings. Uh, I don't think we're there. Yeah, I need to find some proper landmarks here. Let's see. Northeast. And this is a one, two, three, four way junction. Let's see if we can find that. I kind of like the looks of that, but we're missing these buildings. And uh, yeah, it's not the right one, that's for sure. Uh, so what are the... I can't really see any other intersections that would fit the bill though. And that's a bit worrying. So here we're heading southeast-ish. And well, I'm running on the assumption that we're in open, but it definitely seems like we're in open because it says open here as well. Uh, so we're southeast. Hmm. I think we're on this road, but. And there's stuff missing if that was the spot. And, uh, and yeah, let's keep on moving along this road because this road is doing the right things. And if it is, eventually we'll wind up on the 503. Let's go for that piece of confirmation at least. Yeah, the road is doing the right things because it's curving the right way over here. And then we're going to come up on this intersection here and that's got to be the 503 like the runs here so that means I'm right about this intersection we're just missing all these buildings mm. 
which is a bummer and a half. Uh, that thing there. Could it be this? It should be rotated to the side. That's this one. And the church here is that thing over here. That thing over there, I think. So. Yeah, I'm almost willing to bet that I'm looking at this thing. So let's put it there. And clench the point, finally. <laughs> that was on the tough side. But yeah, I did manage to get the point home, and let's see what is it now. So it's 2-1, right. That was a hard-fought point. We had to go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rounds. And that's a new record in this particular match. Wow. But I did manage to get it within time, even though I had one forfeited round and one where I just missed. But yeah, that is episode 49, was it? Please check in tomorrow for episode uh, next episode, <laughs> which is probably 50, but we'll find out. Until then, bye-bye.